universal type uh, wireless remote and we're putting it on an SA200. It'll fit on any machine that's got a uh, control knob, control dial. And on this one we're going to just pull the indicator off and then I've got a pulley that I slip it on. Just slip it on the, the pulley here and of course tighten the set screw up on the flat side. Set your pulley back on the machine. Set here. Tighten the set screw on that. And on this, I have a magnetic mount uh, gearbox motor. You slip the o ring belt over the pulley. This can be mounted anywhere. And then just set it to where the see, a little tight. So you loosen the belt up. I just slide it on the faceplate until you get, you want to be able to adjust it by hand here. Okay, from this point, you take your, your two alligator clips and you clip it to the battery. The receiver can be mounted anywhere. I've got it sitting right here. We've got magnets on them right here, but most guys mount them on the, uh, the side of the, the hood. And then test it, take your key fob and run it up and down. And then what we end up doing, we'll put them in the welding hood. You try to put your up button. Oh, see I got it backwards. Just flip it over. The top button's up, the bottom button's down. And this one's real simple to set. I'll show you another installation on another unit here. Now here's another installation, and this is just on the knob of a unit. Now the, the Rangers and the Miller Bobcats and even the Miller Big big 30s, this will fit on there. And just got a key fob, and the belt just slips over the dial. Same concept, and you can pull that off. Slap it back up there, slip the belt on, and you're ready to go.